Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to create MailChimp groups and fill them with Job Form. So that means that when someone fills out a Job Form and select a certain element, it's going to add that contact to a certain group. So we're going to accomplish that on Job Form right now. So follow me to my desktop right now. Okay, this is our job form dashboard. Let's get started by creating our MailChimp groups. So let's head over to our MailChimp account. This is our main dashboard for MailChimp and to create a group, we're gonna head on over to audience. So let's click on audience and then we're gonna head on over to all contacts. Inside of all contacts, we're gonna click on manage contacts. We're gonna scroll down and there's a section that says groups. Let's click on it. And this is our group section. This is where we're going to create our group. Let's go ahead and create a group. And in this case, we'll keep it as checkbox and we'll select the group category. In this case, the category is going to be called whatever you need. But in this case, for demo purposes, we're going to call it automobiles. And then we have the group names. So in this case, we'll divide them by cars, trucks and SUV. This is just for demo purposes. And let's go ahead and save it. Here we go, done for now. And let's wait for that, there we go. It's updated, we have created our group on MailChimp. It's super easy. Now, how are we gonna integrate this with JotForm? So when we fill out a form, it sends it, it sends it to the correct group. So let's go into our JotForm. Let's go ahead and create a new form. We're gonna start from scratch for this one and classic form. You can use card form if you like. Okay, let's drag in some basic elements. In this case, we'll just for name. Then we'll use a single choice and last email. Okay, let's keep it simple. So the question is gonna be here. What car do you like the most? Okay, keep it simple. And let's add the same options that we've created on the job form groups. So in this case, we have cars, we have trucks and SUV. And let's get rid of the last one because we just created three categories over there. There we go. Now let's integrate with MailChimp. Let's head on over to settings, integrations. Let's search for MailChimp. There we go. Let's select it authenticate it's going to ask us to log into our mailchimp account let's go ahead and log in and we're going to allow jot form to connect with mailchimp there we go and let's choose the list that we want to work with in this case i only have one list if you have several lists you'll see them here on the drop down if you want to create a list specially for this then first create the list and then integrate okay we are here and then we have interest groups. So in this case, I can select the group that we want it to be tied to when someone fills out the form, it will send the contact information to MailChimp. But in this case, we want it based on what they select. So in this case, let subscribers select their group. And then we wanna tell it what element do we wanna use for it to select it. So let's add a new field and we're going to select. And in this case, we have automobiles. That's the element that we created. And then it's gonna be tied to the, what cars do you like the most? Okay, there we go. And if we wanna add more, it's possible here. So let's save it like this. Let's go ahead and, oh, let's add the match fields. We're gonna use the full name to be matched with the name on MailChimp. Okay, let's go ahead and complete. Let's go, finish, and we're integrated. Let's test it out. So let's go into publish, open in a new tab. Um, before we fill this out, let me go show you the contacts that are added as of now. Let's go into audience, view all the contacts. Okay, there we go. Here's the automobile group and there's nothing tagged to it. So let's fill out the form. So in this case, I'll say my name, Jorge Aguilar. And in this case, we're going to select I don't know, trucks, okay? And I'll just add a test email, testoveragain.com. Submit it. There we go, it's been submitted. Now we should see that contact added on MailChimp. So let's go ahead and refresh MailChimp. Refresh it. 
And there we go, the new contact has been added. It's added to the group automobiles and it's tagged to trucks because that's what I selected. Now, if you wanna take advantage of these tags, when you create a campaign, you can select the tag that you want to use to send out that, that campaign. So that means that if you're sending out an email campaign that has to do with trucks, well, we use the people who were tagged who like trucks to send out that email to them and not the rest. And if they like cars instead of trucks, well, we send them emails based on cars and not trucks. Now, you would use your own tags depending on the niche of your business and how you want to promote and send out your campaigns. But take advantage of groups and tags like you saw right now. Well, we thank y'all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.